Good morning, y'all. Today is Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. And uh, it's approximately 8.30 a.m. in the morning. And I'm dealing with like a head cold. I thought it was COVID. I took two COVID tests, both negative. So I'm dealing with like a sinus infection or whatever, I guess. So y'all bear with me. This video here is about, they say karma is a, a bit, you know, and uh, what goes around comes around, you reap what you sow. You heard all the sayings, right? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm I'm go back, take y'all back to my first time ever meeting a black Trump supporter. Now at this time, I was a diehard Democrat, diehard liberal, you know, at least I thought I was, I ain't, you know, but anyway, I had a, a good friend of mine, man, real solid dude, real good dude, family man, uh, good friend, you know, good to talk to, good advice, everything, good dude. His name was Vincent, right? I ain't gonna say his last name, cause he might not want people to do him the way I did him when they find out he a Trump supporter. So, uh, we was cool, I, I didn't, you know, used to chop it up on the job every day. Real good dude, solid. No problem with him, right? And then one day, it was during the uh, second election, uh, uh, you know, when Trump was going against Biden. And uh, I found out he was a Trump supporter. And my whole view of him changed. I was like, huh? And I, and I remember thinking like, how, you remember that commercial, the Eminem commercial with Santa Claus? And Santa Claus saw the Eminem, and Eminem saw Santa Claus, and they were both like, they do exist. That's how I felt when he told me he was a Trump supporter. And I like black Trump supporters, they do exist. I had never saw one in real life. So uh, I thought it was just some, uh, some news propaganda that they act like black people were for Trump. I didn't believe it. So here I am, I done met a real black Trump supporter in real life. And it threw me for a loop, he was a good friend of mine, and he, it kind of like, it actually hurt me. Like, damn, how are you, you a sellout? You know, you're, you're Uncle Tom, you're Uncle Ruckus, you're a sellout. Does that sound familiar? And that's why I say, call me the bitch. Reap, you reap what you sow, what goes around comes around. Because everything I said about him, now that I'm a Trump supporter and a, uh, I ain't gonna say Republican, I'm a, lib I'm a conservative, I'm not a Republican or a Democrat, I'm independent. But I support Trump over Biden. So, Everything I said about him back then, people saying about me now. So I like, damn. So I happened to run across him. That's the reason I'm making the video. Cause I was thinking about him the other day and I'm like, damn, that's how I did, the way these people doing me now is how I did Vince. And I just so happened to run across him this morning in the grocery store, running late and had to stop and get me some energy drinks and stuff, right? He was in Walmart. And I saw him, and I had to go over to him, and I said, man, I want to apologize to you for how I treated you, and how I cut you off because you were a Trump supporter. And you remember everything I was saying about you? Now that I'm a Trump supporter, people saying the same thing about me. And he just laughed. i like, man, I ain't know no better than him, man. I was, you know, so I was following the narrative, listening to the talking heads, following along with the agenda. I ain't know no better. So I judge him a call him a sellout because he was a Trump supporter. And he black. And like Joe Biden say, you ain't black if you don't vote for him. So he wasn't voting for Biden, so to me he wasn't black. And I had to apologize to that man for how I how how stupid I was, how ignorant I, I was acting. Toward my good friend simply because he was a Trump supporter and he was black. And I thought that would be a sellout. Now fast forward to now, they're calling me sellout. Same thing I did to him. So, and now I understand, like, wow, that, that's crazy. Life took a full circle. <laughs> so uh, I'm making this video, man. I just want to apologize to Ben. I apologize to my person. I told him I'm going to make a video about it. Because it's funny how things happen. How life have a way of showing you some things. Especially when you're wrong. And I was wrong. 
You got a right to support whoever you want to support politically. You ain't did nothing to me. And now that I just saw the light and did my own research, I support him too. I didn't know no better then. So look at how that happened, man. Now that people, you know, I got black people calling me sellout now too, the same way I did him. It, it's crazy, ain't it? So uh, I just wanted to drop that bump, drop that on y'all, share that with y'all, man, and, and how that happened and how life, you know, sometimes it's funny how things happen. And uh, I happened to run across that man this morning and I had to let him know what's going on. It was, it was both of us laughed, really. Now I'm a sellout too, just like I was calling him a sellout. Now they're calling me a sellout. <laughs> so uh, I just wanted to run that by y'all, man. It, it, it's funny, but y'all, they really do exist. Black Trump supporters. Who would have thunk it? Y'all have a great day.